welcome to our Floss Tube channel. We are the, the Sable, Sable Stitchers. We did it! Yes. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. Sable is an acronym for Stash Accumulated Beyond Life Expectancy. And, um, and if you are a returning viewer, thank you. We appreciate you spending time with us. And I just imagine you sitting there with something fun to stitch and hope that over the next hour or so we can prep provide some laughs and a little bit of inspiration. So thanks for hanging with us. And welcome and thank you for all your kind comments and funny stories and holidays. And anyway, it was great visiting with y'all. It's just fun. You get feel like you get to know, you know, a few more people every time. So we appreciate you taking the time to comment. And um, I guess we were just going to start with a little life update. Um, last week was Thanksgiving. I don't think it was the Thanksgiving either of us had anticipated. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, no. Go ahead. Um, if you uh, watched our last floss tube, I had mentioned that our younger son and daughter-in-law are pregnant and due in March. Mm -hmm. And about two weeks before um, our trip, the baby gave us, little baby boy gave us a scare. And so the doctor said, you can't travel anymore until the baby comes. So we had to change our flights and um, the plan was we were all going to gather at my sister's house in north of LA and instead we flew into San Diego, spent a couple of days with um, my younger son and his wife. They're doing fine. Everything oh. looks good. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> tell me. Tell me. Oh. Everything is, is good, okay. um, but the she doctor is keeping a really, really close check on her so she doesn't overdo it and that kind of thing. And um, and then at 6 a.m. on Thanksgiving morning, they took us to the Amtrak station, and apparently some track had washed out, so we boarded a bus to Irvine, caught the train there, and took that up to my sister's house in Ventura. And... Um, so it was one of those holidays. It was plane, train, automobile, and oh, bus. Yes. <laughs> so it was. everything but but boat. So, Aww. but it was a lot of fun. And then we spent our um, Thanksgiving with my sister and my older son and his family, including the the unpredictable Clara. And she's two and a half <laughs> years old. And said the funniest things. And the last day when we were there, she said to my sister, um, "Do you live here by yourself?" And my sister said, well, yes, most of the time. And Clara says, you have too much stuff. <laughs> she can so, see my house. <laughs> oh, my God. So from her, you know, two-and-a-half-year-old eye level, whatever, she just thought my sister had too much stuff. We just thought that was just hilarious. You've got to tell hilarious. her about the Scrabble game. Oh, and then, yeah, we were playing. We play Scrabble at night, and Clara was very, in, you know, fascinated by the tiles and we said well you can have your tiles but you can't you know you can't you have to have them on the table you can't put them on the board and mess up you know our our wonderful words and so unless i'm losing then go ahead <laughs> <laughs> put but, that x in there someplace yes. <laughs> and um and then so but she was starting to sneak them on the board and my sister is like no you can't do that clara and clara said but i want to <laughs> I already think she's retired. I know. But I want but to. But I want to. Like, you don't understand. <laughs> that's, so, that's yeah, she is so funny. She's got these little pigtails on the side. They're just so, she's so cute. She, yeah. So. She's a, yeah. But she, she is something. <laughs> yeah, she's going to be something, all right. <laughs> well, I hope you all had a good Thanksgiving. I'll have to show you my, my sweatshirt that I saved. So, this is my pink Santa. I thought he was so cute. Yeah, very cute. But, um, yeah, we didn't quite have the Thanksgiving either. Um, uh, one one day, <laughs> um, I just wasn't feeling, but my Mr. Raffle just wasn't feeling very well. And so he got up to get ready to go to bed, and I heard him fall in the bathroom. And so I went in to help him. He was conscious. He was just so weak, he wound up getting the flu. He got the influenza B. But um, anyway, we tried to get him up, and it was just dead weight. We couldn't get him up off the floor. So I wound up calling 911, and they came out and helped us get him up and into bed, and they checked his vitals, and they said, yes, that all the vitals were looking good. And um, I said, well, do you think I should take him to the hospital? And they said, no, I don't think that they'll really do anything more than what we're doing so I said okay so we went to bed 
Got up the next day and he developed this cough, just this horrible, horrible, horrible cough. And so finally I said, Monday we were calling the doctor. Well, we couldn't get him, he didn't have the strength to get up. So we did a telecheck and his oxygen level had dropped down to the about the mid 80s, low to mid 80s. So um, I don't, by the grace of God, we got him in the car and took him to the hospital and he has flu and he has pneumonia. Mm-hmm. And he was, he's still pretty sick, but he spent the whole week, Thanksgiving including, in the hospital. So I've never, we've never had pneumonia before. And I, I, I just can't believe the, you know, how sick you can get. So don't. And you get don't, sick really quick when you get and, and you, you do. Get, you get sick really quick. And it's just really fast. So anyway, um, just a note to self. Um, please take care of yourselves. Uh, not that we weren't, but it just hits so fast. But if something, you know that you you know your body, and if your body is telling you I don't feel good, something's wrong, then do something about it. Because thank God that we got him in when we did. Because, and then of course, we spent eight hours out in the hallway in the hospital waiting for a bed. But but we were there, and there was somebody there to take care of him. And he's still pretty sick, but he's home. So just a little, That's good. little thought for I, him. So appreciate that. I have another friend whose husband ended up in the hospital with pneumonia too. So I don't know if it's just an extra bad year this year. I don't or... know. He did not get a flu shot. I mean, he has all the, the, the boosters and vaccines and stuff, but he did not get a flu shot. So, yeah. but I bet he does next year. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Well, sorry to hear that, but I'm glad he's home. He's home and he's and... doing better. And I'm glad he's retired and we can take care of him and he can take naps and I know he'll be all right. So yeah. he'll be, he'll be all right, well, but it's going to take a while. Yeah. Well, we had okay. a question on our last boss tube. I had mentioned, well, I showed my book of days and I had pictures of my finished projects and, and also of some of the mm. retreats I went to. And I got a couple questions on that. Like what camera I use. I just use my cell phone, but I use, um, a little printer and it's called a sprocket it comes in a little box like this santa 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 (laughs) santa okay (laughs) and i think i originally heard about this from i think from brenda and you know brenda and the serial starter i think she might have a different app now or a different printer now but there's an app you download on your phone and it's a bluetooth and so I can just like pick my pictures on my phone and send them in my sprocket and then they just the paper is in here there's no ink hold it up, the paper the paper is um is it's like special paper so it just you send your it's like magic you just send your photo I think it's to so here cool. and it just prints out and I could mess around with it and get to make sure that I have like the colors better and I don't mess around with it I just send it to it and print it out and it's good enough for me but one other idea that I've used this for, I did get it from my daughter-in-law for her birthday one year, and she has used it for, um, she put in a little photo wall for Clara, like right above, she had a little bitty table and chairs, and she put family pictures over that, and mm-hmm. so, you know, Clara would point and say, you know, that's Mom Up, that's, you know, Mimi and Pop Pop, or that's, you know, Aunt Doris, or whatever, and so that was fun, and then my sister had given us a, calendar it was like a um shutterfly calendar and it had pictures from clara's first year and for her second year we went through and we have you know a a app or that my daughter-in-law posts pictures to every month and every month i'd go on and i'd pull out like four pictures of something from that clara had done that month and put it on the calendar and so, you know, like mm. I had a picture for Daddy's birthday. I had a picture for when she visited her great other grandma. Invention. And then I gave that to them for next Christmas. Ah. So that was like a little memory of her second I've seen year. them done, and it's like, oh, I, I want one, Santa. Yeah, so. they're fun. I think they're, they're fun. They're very easy to use. Um, and, you know, they're great for if you take a trip. They'd be good for, I'm not good about oh, making those Oh, scrapbooking, but still, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. to have a memory of it. Yeah. So. So anyway, so that's a sprocket. So I just wanted to answer the question about what camera. Thank you, Roberta. You're welcome. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> now I know to tell him which one to buy. So um, I don't know. I've seen a lot of the real Christmas trees. Um, you know, all the Christmas trees are coming out. We used to always buy a real Christmas tree until our puppy 
and decided to drink the water out of the bottom of the Christmas tree, and she got a pine nut in her little tummy that night, and um, oh, oh, she was so sick. We took her to the emergency vet, and they had to pump her stomach, and you know, a thousand dollars later, you know, we had a a healthy little puppy. But so um, from now on, we put up the uh, an artificial tree, but oh, we loved going to pick out our Christmas tree. I mean, from the kids to the little. But I found a joke that says if Luke Skywalker planted a tree farm and after he got all the trees planted he went and stood up on top of the hill and he said may the forest be with you <laughs> oh, are you fine okay so. i don't know <laughs> but i got another one <laughs> okay um uh, book of days did you bring your book of days i was updating it today but it might i don't know if i brought it up oh i do you have my book of days i thought i, I saw do. it you do, you do. It's not so I didn't get the 30th on there. But uh, so there's my November book of days. All filled up. I didn't get, well, I did. I started a lot. And I do have a lot of FFOs I can't wait to show you. So there's my November. It's my November. I didn't get as much stitching done as I wanted to, but. Um, stitching is stitching. What I say? What'd you say? <laughs> what do you think I said? <laughs> stitching is stitching. Stitching is stitching. Okay, I thought you said stitching or something. Oh. I was like, <laughs> stitching or is stitching. stitching. Okay, okay. stitching okay. is stitching. Yes, it is. But I took, you know, I took so many projects out to California with me, and I thought I could stitch on the train because that was like that was a long trip. But it was too. It was pretty smooth, but not smooth enough. Other than if you're pulling in or out of the station, but I did spend a lot of time working on the website. Yay! And We're so, so so exciting, guys! I can't wait. So, you can't wait. Yeah. So this is. I just wanted to show you the website. Um, it should be launching shortly, as soon as my husband gets it connected with the domain. But it's called the Sable Stitchers Retreat and Blog, Retreat Guide and Blog. And I don't have the link for you yet. When it is live, I will send you the link. I think the domain name, I think, because we got it back in March when I first launched this floss tube, I think it is, um, I think it's just the Sable Stitcher. I think it's going to be the sablestitcher.net. And so at the top, if you can see at the top, I have some navigation buttons. And so the very first one is retreat calendar because the goal of this is to have a listing of retreats and right mm -hmm. now I so far I think I have 28 retreats listed I mean same header on this but I think I can hold you want to hold it yes. and I can try scrolling um, and I know we're getting some glare there so here's the retreat calendar and it comes up it says now through April 28th and the way I have it listed so um, the default one is going to be um, by date and it's going to be you know in the order that they're happening and so that lists the title it lists the date at the top of when it's going to start um, the name of the retreat and then the first thing I have tried to put and I guess I didn't do it on this one is I've tried to put if they are um, like on this one stitch away 2023 which is put on by keepsakes um, update all openings have been filled so the first thing I tried to list is if its registration is open or if the retreats filled or if it's going to be registration coming at a later date so that's what I tried to list first and then it has the the name of the organizer a little description about the retreat you know if there's a designer if there's not a designer if there's classes all that kind of thing and then there is a um, you can click on it it brings up more information and it includes um, the venue, a list, a Google map and a website for the venue. And there is also, um, trying to see, I don't see it on here, but there should be a way, a link to register for it. I'll go back to all events and see if I can see that. I've tried in it, but it should be a direct link to the website so that you can register for, you can learn more and register for whatever event you might be interested in. 
So, um, let's see. So here's like view organizer website. And here's like the website for, I think, let's see, this is about the attic. So this is where it would list more information about it and how you would register because there wouldn't be a link for registering for the attic because they just have a description about when the registration goes live. I think you contact them at a certain time. So, but if they, if the event does have a registration link, I've included that on the listing. So not a lot of work really well yeah and it's it's just it's a lot of work when you don't know what you're doing and you forget <laughs> between you know week to week or month to month what you were doing and have to go back and remember all of that but um once i did have time to dedicate to it it really is not that hard i mean the way they have things set up it's pretty easy but anyway that should be going live i will Yay. post on facebook and instagram when it does go live and the link to it so I would appreciate if you go on and check it out. Um, like I said, I think I have 28 retreats listed so far. I know there are more. And they're coming up. Yeah, and so let me know if you know others that I have not um, included. Um, there's no there's no cost for being part of this calendar. We're just I'm just doing it as a service, and I don't get any remuneration from it or any, you know, um, Perks. I haven't been to all these retreats. They're just all as far Wouldn't as it'd be I know. Nice to be able to do that, though. Yeah, it'd be. Yeah, it would be as far as I. Some of this. Some of them overlap, so we'd have to clone ourselves. I know. <laughs> but um, they're all reputable, you know, vendors and organizers, and so um, yeah. So I need to. I need to add some more information about our contact information and then I was going to do a one on what to expect because we get asked that what do that you question a lot kind of what thing. to bring so anyway if you get a chance when it goes live check it out make sure all my links working and just um, looking forward to your comments and your help and yes making that up questions to comments and help <laughs> let us know yeah so that was my big that was my big kind of finished yay so. we've been waiting for this for almost a year or so i know or it's close to a, a year time. so we're excited to see it coming yeah so do you want to share start uh i can show you some of my uh my niece well first of all sorry <laughs> Um, you look good. We got a new TV. Our kids bought us a TV for Christmas and let us have it beforehand. And we're used to watching a small TV, and now this is a, a, a big TV. And I've noticed, um, you know, things that you don't normally notice, like lipstick on your teeth. So <laughs> I think I'm a little self-conscious today. Um, my niece came over. Uh, she was going through her mom's things. And uh, she brought me some things that we had made, my sister and I had made together. So I'd like to share those with you. Uh, these go back a long, long time. Back when we had talked about our craft shows and making things. And so these were the little dolls that we made. I'm sorry, I'm stretching. These are the little dolls that we made. And uh, these, these were called sissy dolls. And so it was supposed to be like big sister, little sister, but... Those are very well made. Uh, just a ton of detail in those. Uh, we did all the embroidery on it and on her face, braided her hair, and uh, we did like little, little short hair. But these were our little sissy dolls. And you can see the lace, the little pantaloons. Uh, those are amazing. The ribbons, and then she had some embroidery on the back but we just kind of took our time and we just played but these were our little sissy dolls so and then she also brought me uh some of my old cross stitch and you know to be honest i don't remember stitching these i mean i know i did but um well, when you showed some of these to me, it was just brought back like, oh, I remember doing those. I don't know if I still have those. I haven't. I've just started to get my Christmas things out, but I'll have to look for those now. I have to laugh because of the the fabric that was used for finishing. It's like, I do you ever remember seeing this kind of fabric like from a long time ago? Uh, anyway, I made calicos. this. Yeah, yeah, old calico cupboard. Uh, I made this in 1992, so... 30 well, years ago. There you go, so... Uh, 30 years ago today, you might have been finishing <laughs> I might have been finishing this up for Christmas. <laughs> and then, 
it still has the little <laughs> Christmas tree hook Aww. on it. But I had made her that little heart. Cute. And, um, oh gosh, do you remember these holders? Again, yes. it's got the little, yes. <laughs> the little Christmas tree hook on it. But I had made her. I think I made one that was like a candle is the one that I remember. And then the little... Maybe I, just I mean, these are then. these are very <laughs> these are very old. And then my last one, um, I made her a garland. <laughs> but a lot of you are saying, "Oh yes, we have those too." <laughs> so, that is so but cute. she put these on her tree every year that she could. Thank you. So I was very pleased and thankful that my niece had thought of me to to give them back. That was very give sweet. them back to me. So uh, anyway. That's some of my old things. Um, my husband and I have told you we've been together for, we had our 51st wedding anniversary. We've had 53 Christmases together. But what we have started to do, we, I, started collecting is couples, um, like Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Snowman. So I found this at the antique store so an old Mr. and Mrs. That is so cute. Snowman. And then it's just a classic. I mean, I think I, I've it, seen something else like that recently. It was just and because it, that it is even, so cute. It just it is cute. And then this one I have to laugh. Oh my gosh, look at that cigar. <laughs> and that seems like that would be kind of a hazard for a snowman to be. <laughs> I, I know it's <laughs> like I hope that didn't make you melt, but anyway, so these are some old and then I have also collected Mr. and Mrs. Santa Clauses and anything that was Mr. and Mrs. We even have a couple really things on our tree that are Mr. and Mrs. When we went to the Caribbean, we bought a Mr. and Mrs. Flamingo. And oh. so we have it on the tree. And then we have just, you know, little little things, Mr. and Mrs. So anyway, I like to, to collect That's really those. That's a unique. That's a unique collection. So... But they're right. There are a lot of little couple things. Yeah, so, so I, to me, it's kind of fun. Very cute. Yeah. Um, okay, I had to do a hunt because I had brought this <laughs> Oh, my gosh, look and up. Look at that. Somewhere. So we were talking about things our sisters made for us, and this is what my sister, um, who I just saw, made for me probably about 30 years ago. Oh. I don't know if you remember when Holly Hobby was oh, yeah. really popular, and she actually made this for several people because she still talks about... Well, you know, what a pain it was to be sewing this for so many people. But, I mean, look at that, all the little satin the stitches, the little, all patches. little patchwork, and all the little specialty stitches. And uh, she just did a beautiful job, and I bring this out every year. So that so was from my sweet. sister. Oh, yeah, I wish she put a year on it. I know. But, yeah, uh, that's very fun. So those are priceless, my sister. Priceless. And then um, I just <gasps> unwrapped I'm, this I'm and brought this. it out. And this was something I finished. Look at that, you guys. I have a card on the back. So finished January. it January of 2021. And had that framed by our local framing company. So that, of course, is I'm Christmas. Real fast because I Christmas love the at label. Holly Berry Hill. She put. And yeah. Isn't that cool label? So, yeah, I mean, that, those do come in handy. And so when I frame, I usually don't put glass on it um, unless it's hanging somewhere where it could get splashed on, especially this one I just put on my bookcase. So what did you holiday. stitch this on? Oh, I think it was all, I don't know. The called for linen, I remember, is mink, and I don't know that I had that, but I have something that someone had said was comparable. The one change I'm pretty sure I made so is, beautiful. I think the color of the roof, the called for color was maybe more, it was a weird color. I think maybe, I don't know if it was black or whatever, but I did change that. I like, the, I I like it that's, being brown. I think it's tin roof maybe is what I used for the roof. How about your count number? Uh, probably either 36 or 40. Oh, just Might beautiful. be 36. I remember stitching the border in the car coming back from visiting our son in Colorado and I had to tear those out so many times. Oh, so. They're stitching so beautiful. Well, thank it you. It is so beautiful. It's probably one of my favorite finishes. Mm -hmm. I would keep that up all year. <laughs> yeah, Even though really, it says Merry Christmas. I, probably, I love her borders. I have to go back to what my mom fantastic. said, remember. You have yes. to leave one Christmas thing out. I probably year. do inadvertently. <laughs> I forget to take I them off the I have a couple more little finishes. Um, 
This is another Stacy Nash piece. A little snow pillow with a little hanger. Did you see Christie's? Have you watched Daisy K's new? Not her newest oh, one. Oh my gosh, Christie, you're phenomenal. I loved. I watched it again this morning. My husband watched it with me again this morning. Your decor is so beautiful, and I looked for a whole bunch of the little pillows, and uh, I I couldn't I couldn't find them. So, could you let me know who makes your little pillows? Um, okay. Yeah, you know, the little primitive pillows. Just making a note of who we're talking um, about. But oh my gosh, your decor was beautiful. Your basket on your table. I know you said that you got that at uh, one of the. I think one of the antique stores, but anyway, everything is so beautiful. So looking, please, if you I'm haven't watched that. Daisy Kay's uh, Christmas Ladies decor, one. please, you're in for a treat. <laughs> yeah, I caught up on some. I, I have um, YouTube Premium, so I can download videos and watch them offline, and so I did watch some on the plane on the way out oh, and back, so that gosh. was nice, but I will definitely so look cozy. at that one. Oh, it sounds like fun. And then this is... Oh, um, that's like that frame that you're telling This me. is Brenda Gervais. I think it's tree, Santa's Tree Farm. Mm -hmm. And what I did is this was, you know, everyone had to buy this frame mm -hmm. several, you know, a couple of years ago. So I had it and I wasn't sure what to do with it. And I used it for my Christmas cards. And so I did this. You know, just kind of the double oval finish, which is ovals are not my specialty, and um, added a bow. And so then we put our Christmas cards in here. Very and it clever. Just stands on the counter. Very clever. So something, I had to do something practical with that, and that seemed like the most practical. And thing it has I the think of. farm fresh written on it. So you yeah. used it very carefully. You very, have to. Very, you want to cover that up yes. unless you have like yeah some kind of farm scene. So you have a couple oh, more finishes. I have a couple more finishes. I wanted to show you. Oh, I love I, that. I bought this ornament last year, and I saved all my orts, everything that I, and I believe me, I have dug out of this looking for just, you know, about three <laughs> inches of thread that I needed to finish a project, but I haven't put the, the year on it yet. But those are all my orts from, uh, not 22, uh, from 21. So I have that. Have you done that? So that was your first year doing this it? This is the first right? year that okay. I've done this. So I, I've got another one started. It's a little different shape. Um, oh, very fun. But it was kind of fun. I was kind of like, oh, I remember working on something. Because something that's you really strange colors. Color. So it's kind of like, I remember that one. That's a great idea. So I spent, while my husband was in the hospital, um, I spent uh, a lot of nights stitching and, and finishing. So I have quite a few finishes. So this is one of my prairie schoolers. Don't know which year it is, but I finished him and just put some plaid on the back. Very pretty. This is one of my cardinals. And I finished him and then I just tied some twine around him and put some bells on him and then just, I used the same. I just did little cross stitches on the front and then sewed it back shut and put a button to kind of close it up. I got that one done. Oh, and who did the card? Oh, I know you were going to ask me that. Well, I'm keeping notes um, here, so I... <laughs> I will. I, I have the pattern at home and uh, I will I will text it to you. So you That's really it. pretty. So, th I think this one... I did a lot of... I pulled off a lot of... Um, PDFs this week and not that I don't have anything to do at home but I saw these PDFs and I go oh that looks like fun so I, I did did do a lot of those uh, let's see what else do I have <clears throat> I finished this one and to all a good night and I put believe on the bottom this just came from Hobby Lobby, I believe. And see, was this a Lizzie Kate or Bent Creek? I'll have to double check. Sorry. So, um, so that was a real easy finish. Very cute. And then I finished some big ones. I'm so excited to share with you. This looks really nice. That's beautiful. It's my prairie schooler. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So I 
found um, just a board at Hobby Lobby, and it said play. Am I in the picture? And uh, it, yeah, you might move it this way okay. a little bit, too. Um, I'll just move back a little bit. Um, it said playroom. Well, it fits so perfectly. And really I mean, I had just a little bit of space left on the sides. Uh, but on most of, most mostly, it fit just perfect. That's amazing. I mean, top to bottom. So. And top to bottom. And I mean, right along the border. Did you have it measured or you just kind of thought you I just, it and thought it looked like it would I fit? I said, I think this will fit. I, well, That's I took amazing. it with me. Okay. And I just laid it inside. And I thought, I think I think this will work. That looks really good. So I finished Very finished pretty. that one, and I and finished. I like, and I think the black frame sets it off really nicely. Yeah, and I don't I, know it what was other a you use, but it, here I am. <laughs> it was fifty percent off. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and then I have this one. <gasps> oh, this wow. is the Prairie Schooler, and this is the one that Christy actually had on her mantle, and um, gorgeous. She inspired me to to stitch this. So I like the little Santa with the tree. He's bringing the tree, and the reindeer are, are prancing. And the, it the was this was such a houses. fun stitch. I really beautiful. I didn't have any little any, red fox. I love all the red houses at the top. They they were my favorite, but I loved this one. That was really pretty. And if we ever do a. a what do I want to say? Like a, a kid, and I have so many prairie schoolers, and I have some that are missing, and I have a dear friend that is sending me some, so I'm so excited. So thank you, Barbara. Okay, I have one last one. Oh, I guess I can show that one. So, okay, guys, he's done. There's Dancer. That he turned out so, so beautiful. Pretty. I am so pleased with this. I am so happy I stitched it. I want everyone to stitch <laughs> it because he's just, his eyes just talk that is to you. That's amazing. I mean, that is just, I'm, boy, that I'm, was worth the price of the magazine alone. Oh, I am just so happy with this. And uh, Sarah's stitchy spot kind of got me inspired to pick it back up again because. Uh, well, I, wait, I guess I was waiting for fabric, and the fabric finally came, and uh, I just said, just start it, Lenny. So I told myself uh, November the 1st, I'm starting it, and I did. I started it November 1st, and I think I finished it, I don't know what, I, but like one week, we, right before Thanksgiving, I finished it. Your needle it. was on fire with that one. And then is, that, I, is that two? Two over two? Two over two. Okay. I, I wound up, I bought 32, I tried it, but those little white snowflakes hmm. really kind of played havoc with my eyes so i did wind up ordering 28 so and they have the same linen in 32 uh, yes okay and uh um but it looks really good and then it? i got the the uh, frame at hobby lobby at half price and it she fits just perfectly she that just fits, really fits great. she he just fits perfectly so anyway i'm so proud of that that's beautiful and then one last thing. This is an old, gosh, I'm going to guess 15 plus years old. And then again, <laughs> I can't, it's so big. <laughs> so I made this big, long, <laughs> it keeps going. So it's, yeah, it's all the reindeers. And I have the pattern. I don't remember it, and I'm sorry. But uh, I, I hand quilted it. I just did lines. Or I guess it's this. Well, so did you lay like tracing paper over it and, and I trace did. the outline, and then it, I have to. This is this is experience. You know, experimenting with embroidery. I bought this pin. They said to buy this pin, and so I laid the pattern and I spaced my my. Uh, reindeers and so I said well I'm gonna get it traced tonight and then tomorrow I'll be able to start so there's Rudolph <laughs> so then I'll be able to start first thing in the morning when I woke up the next morning it was all it's, gone it was, it, was, it was the air eraser <laughs> oh no so, oh, I was so mad at myself <laughs> oh so, my goodness that was a lot of work and that sits on top of, you know just on the wide part or right in the middle of our bed 
Oh, so it's kind of so lost some cute. of its stuffing, but uh, I Very can add some cute. more to it. Okay. That's all I have. That's, that's quite a lot. <laughs> okay. Um, so whips, I guess. I just have a few things I've been working on. Um, it's a couple I can't show because I have an or we have an ornament exchange tomorrow with our stitch group. Yeah, I and didn't bring mine because I'm probably afraid I was a picture gonna... of that. And then um, I'm doing the ornament exchange with the Rocky Mountain Sampler Guild, and so that one I'll show that one later. But I'm almost done with Cam Caroline Amelia Trowell. I worked on her a little more over the past couple of weeks, and basically I finished. I thought I'd finished everything in this corner, but I have a little more wording to do. So that I love that um, fruit basket, little quirky tree. So I have to finish the wording here. There's a big kind of a patchwork looking bird. And then on the, and then her, there's a cartouche with her name on this side. Sorry. Sorry. Getting close. Getting close on that. Again, that is on 36 count. Um, Lakeside, I think it's vintage light exemplar. So that's my progress on Caroline. Uh, I didn't work on too much more. I mean, I've spent most of my weeks uh, finishing, but I did get a little bit more on my uh, milk and cookie not oh, pull. Great. So I got a little bit more cookie, almost to the sea for cookie. And then I finished the reindeer, so I really didn't get too much done on that one. And it, that is on... Um, it's just, it's a 14 count, but it's on that barn wood. Barn wood. And uh, I'm going to order some more and get, you know, um, 28 or... 30. I know they have different sizes, but I'm going to get some more because I've got some other things that will look really good on it. Okay. I think I got just I uh, got to working on the turkey and this is on let's see this is Jane Baxter and this is by Victorian Rose Needle Arts this is the pattern I thought I'd get a lot more done on this and I brought this is one that I brought on the trip and never touched so I was so much trying to get it. either it's either a turkey or a peacock I know. I think there's like two I think that's a peacock. Floss. Oh, I don't know, but the head looks like a turkey. That's maybe more of a turkey. He's, that's a turkey. He's a turkey, so I guess he's a peacock. But love working on this, and this is on um, 40 Count Stars Hollow Blend. Okay. Um, I pulled off um, one of my PDFs. This is Bird and Berries Winter Cushion. <laughs> oh, that's an ice machine. <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> I think those colors are so pretty. Um, I, even though it's not are very pretty. really Christmassy, but I just love this blue. And so I just got a little bit done. So, just some fun. Is that, the, is that new this year? No, I don't think so, because... Again, when I was getting ready for today, and I did, I I was so proud of myself. I pulled everything, anything that was Christmas, I pulled out of my cabinets. And so I have, <laughs> I actually brought it all here. Not that you're <laughs> going to have to watch all that, but I was so proud of myself to get it all organized. So now from here on, I know right where Christmas is. Yeah, I put Christmas too, and I don't have nearly as much Christmas as I do fall. Oh my Halloween, gosh! I think. No wonder. No wonder our bank account looks like it does. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, again, back to something that um, I found these Mr. And Mrs. Claus by Salt and Pepper. Oh, Mr. And Mrs. There you go. So Mr. And Mrs. Claus by Salt and Pepper. These are going to be our new ornaments for our. Our collection this year and I got mister done so there's there's mister he's so cute and I don't know if you can see it very well but it has metallic around the eyes for glasses oh so can you can you uh -huh. kind of see mm -hmm. that so anyway so that's very his delicate so and then it's it's full coverage 
uh, it's not very big, but it's still full coverage. And then I'll have Mrs. Claus. I'll do this weekend. So we have our tree decorated. I don't have anything else on the cabinets, you know, on the shelves or anything. But our tree, our tree's done. Um, it's a it's, you know, cheerful colors. Okay, so that's my what I'm doing for the other ah first rock mountain sample. Girl. I did I did get that one done. And um, this is I got I took this with me on the trip. Got a little more work done on this is early Christmas morning by Blackbird Designs. Did the reindeer started on the house. Um, so thought I would be getting that done on the trip. <laughs> Yes, Those trips, that, you know. Well, we did. We went out and saw a lot of things, too. Well, that's one good. of the things I would say, um, we went to the Santa Barbara Zoo has lights. They, I don't know what they call it, but, you know, they have, like, the zoo has lights um, for Christmas. And all kinds of little, like, silk. Um, but Claire, now that she's, you know, two and a half, mm -hmm. it, it, she's more aware of the decorations and lights yeah. and, and stuff so yeah what was she saying she was I'm saying something closer oh sorry she come was here, saying come here, come here. <laughs> okay she was saying something about it was like too early to like look at lights or something but it's like you know she's like it's not christmas yet but no but it was very well done they would have you know different zoo animals made out of like um they were forms covered in silk so you know you could touch them and it wasn't hot and just beautiful just very well done and not too big for you know for people who might have a little bit of mobility issues to walk through i mean i think we got through it in a little over an hour maybe two hours at the most but by the time we stop and play and that kind of thing but it was really well done and of course it was really nice it was it was know. a nice weather outside mm -hmm. too okay joke time all right <laughs> Speaking of people, you know, not getting hurt or anything, walking and stuff like that. Uh, gingerbread fell down and broke his foot. He went to the doctor and the doctor asked him, hey, have you tried icing? <laughs> boop, boop, boop. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> I don't have any other whips. Now it's all about things I'm working on. Oh, I have another. Oh, so... I thought I'd have a whip, but I'll save that one. So this is one I started. I think I started this during Stitch Mania, maybe 20, 2019, I think. This is a preschooler. Mm. That's a classic. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing it on, I'd have to look at my book to You're see You're brave to do it on. on dark. Well, it's like charcoal. It's not, oh, it is. It's it's um, chalkboard. chalkboard. Well, it says chalk, chalkboard black, but it's 28 counts, so I'm doing it too. Two mm -hmm. over two. Just got a little start on that, but I don't. I, yeah, I don't think that would take too long if I could just get going on it. But I've always loved that one. Uh, um, there's your red houses. I know. Me. I was like, I have probably oh, I don't know, fifty prairie schoolers. I'm so excited. Ginger and I were sharing our prairie schoolers. I don't know that I have. I don't think my other ones are whips. So I think now it's just plans. Yep, that's kind of where I am. We have plans. Oh, I have lots of plans. Mm -hmm. We'll start with my newest. So I start with my. Oh, these are new. I mean, I have plans. <laughs> <laughs> I have plans. Um, but I know it's hard not to want to start everything I know. at once. I'm. I'm going to start with my newest. Because it's like the season, and now you know now we're in the season. I know it. I'm just mood. so excited. I'm going to start with my PDFs because those are brand new things that I've I've, I've purchased and. I'm just really excited to start them. Uh, I think I showed this last week, last time. Uh, Doreen Jones. So I finally got all the floss and and fabric for it. So it's just this, those skinny legs. They just crack me up. So that's that's a new one. That's a very pretty border too. It is a very pretty border. Those little bitty trees. That's I think this is going to be very really exciting. Cute. First, I wasn't too sure about the dark mustache, but oh, they huh. put it um, down in the snowflakes, that same color down here. I think it kind of, now, now I like it. So mm -hmm. I'm going to do it just, just like this. That is really. And I'm going to do it on, a, except I'm going to do it on blue. That'll be pretty. I think I'm going to do it I on blue. I think that'll look really yeah. pretty. I think so. Too. That green. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to check her out. I really yes, like that. Yes, she has quite a few. Um, Doreen Jones, I'm not sure which, where she's from, uh, across the pond. 
Oh, okay. um, but um, which makes PDS really nice. Yes, but she has a lot of cute patterns. A lot of cute pattern. So check her out. Okay. Oh, another one. Oh, I want to start. I took this out to California too. <laughs> My suitcase was like really going, it's like going to retreats. We take uh, all these projects and we don't do them. <laughs> I saw this being stitched when I was at Country Sampler in, when was I there? October. And I mean, I just did like a double take because it was so stunning in person. So I just can't wait to start that. Oh, gosh. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I want that. And then I also saw, if you look oh, at... The, oh, the trees have got stockings on them, guys. If you look at Country <laughs> Sampler's <laughs> website or newsletter, they have those trees done as just a little pillow, standalone pillow. So oh, I like that. Two, two, two. Oh, my gosh, that's so cute. Isn't that so... Yeah, I got the kit. So that is a... That's a... I believe that's a Country Sampler exclusive right now. So if that's something you're interested in... You know, oh, absolutely. Jump on the website. Um, if it's like their exclusive last year, I think they were still taking orders um, on several rounds into January. So if that's something you're interested in, check out their website. And I'm pretty sure I showed this last yeah, time, too. I almost brought that one up, too. Birds of I, a feather. I do not have that one kitted up. So I have it kitted up. I'm ready to go. So that's on my plan. I think that's going to take more time than you would think because of that border. Yeah. It's a beautiful border, though. I love that. Oh, birds of a feather. Um, this was in Kitten Stitcher's Advent Box last year, and now it is available to the general public. Of course, I didn't start it when I got it, but Deck the Coop by Stacy Nash. Chickens! I know, mean, chickens! <laughs> chickens! Chickens! And so I've got it kitted up. Here's the floss. Oh, you ready to go. Oh, floss, ready to go. And then this is on, I have this on Fox and Rabbit Saltbush because it looks like they did it on it looks kind of like a gray. oh that looks exactly the same they did it on patriots brew but yeah oh it, i thought it looks identical pretty, i thought all the colors would pop on show up really well on that i was That's going I, I i did like put a, a string oh, sorry i did put a string in this but i decided that this was going to be my christmas start so oh. i'm holding off on that so this will be my yay so this will be my Christmas start. And I got some of the flosses for that. Because they some of them I sounded like they were a little unusual. Yeah. So, so we're ready. That is gorgeous. Oh, that is just aren't the you colors. Excited? I mean the like a peacock blue and the just some really unusual colors. Yeah. Oh, that's um, so pretty. Oh no, that's wrong. What about some of these colors? I do remember them. Dungarees, Bay oh, yeah. Rose, Red Grape. Yeah, I know. Although Red Grape is not, it's more of a rose color. It's not really the, oh, maybe I didn't get Red well, Grape. Well, um, I didn't have, uh, was it Hyacinth? Maybe I didn't get Red Grape. Um, maybe but, that was Hyacinth. But they said, I didn't have Hyacinth, but they said if you took 208 and 209 and used one strand of each, and I figured, I don't know how much of it's in there. Baby spinach. Anyway. Okay, this was an exclusive last year exclusive kit. This was, I think, last year's um, country sampler Christmas design. And they had it in two linen choices. And I was brave and got it in the black. In the black you are brave, girl. Well, I haven't started it yet. But <laughs> I just love the way that barn popped on the... On the black background, so so again, again beautiful kit from Country Sampler. I really wanted to start that one this year too. Of course, she has the grass is going to be. That's a no joke grass. That's a no joke grass. <laughs> that grass needs to be mowed. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a. I got this um, a couple. Let's say a couple years ago. Um, Twin Peaks, towards the north. Towards to north. Oh. I thought that was, again. That is so sweet. You know, a lot of big ones when we got here. So, uh, yeah, I know. But I don't I don't have the floss. Uh, this one just calls for DMC. So, that's going to be nice. A, a gray Ada 16. So, we'll see what 
but I wind up getting it. This was a kit that I got at um, the New York Galleria. So that is one oh, I, I think definitely, that's so pretty. I, well, that is over over 40. One, one, one over one over 40. One and over that, one? Yes. I mean, you went into her 80? booth. 80? Yeah. You <laughs> went into her booth, and it was just amazing because everything was so petite and just, you know, it's just so detailed and so beautiful. And that is by the heart's content. So that is one I definitely want to give a, you know, give a whirl to. That's that's something I, sometimes when I'm stitching at night and I have my light on and I think, oh my gosh, I can really see well. And I'm just a stitching and a stitching. And then all of a sudden, you know, 2 a.m. hits and it's like, oh, I can't see anymore. <laughs> yeah, that would never be me. At least not at this point in my life right now. It would be nice. <laughs> it would be 9.30. I mean... <laughs> And this was a kit from, um, this was a Dying to Stitch Club, and they had, th I think, three years when they had Pineberry Lane, and every year they had, <laughs> I keep, <laughs> my chair is migrating. <laughs> every year they would have a different theme, and I don't, and I think this was maybe holidays, or and um, or maybe it was Christmas or all year, but anyway, I love, I'm, I'm kind of a nut for needle rolls, and I just love that little needle roll. It's all kitted, so... Ready to go on that. It's kind of like a San Santa Lucia. It, yeah. She has a little, you know, the little... A Lucia. Yeah. yeah crown. Lucia. We used to live in Geneva, Illinois, mm -hmm. and they would have a tree lighting ceremony, and Santa, Lu Santa Lucia would arrive in a horse-drawn carriage mm -hmm. and come out and light the tree. So... Well, my stuff now is all that I want to do. Yeah. Well, I'm a big, me okay. too. So <laughs> I'm a want-to-do kind of person, too. <laughs> To that, Love I it. want to do all this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. So much cute bags. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's so cute. And uh, sparkly. Yes. And I'm, I'm, uh, I think it was Sweetwater. She had all the names of all the bags <laughs> she got. Wow. And I got, why didn't I think of that? Anyway. Okay. I am really into Crochetta a go, go Oh, I love their things. They're, she's so unique. This is one I just I just got. It's called Christmas Green Chic. And she also uses all DMC. And I, oh wait a minute, I showed you those. I'm sorry. These are ones I showed you. Oh well, there's an advent calendar. But I was looking for something in particular. That's really pretty. Okay, I got it. Okay, um, this has been one I've had for a long time. This is a classic to me, la -di da and that is, what is it? That's a Merry Christmas sampler. And I think she does like, <laughs> kind of slow sometimes, because I have, she has summer sampler, which is a little pattern like this, and it's like the ABCs and, you know, some little fl summer flowers. So I don't know if she has a fall and spring sampler um, as part of this series or not, but love that. Just so pretty. Okay. Well, this is what Rude, uh, Prancer was in. So now I have a oh. new reindeer. So, oh, um, I love that one. So I, I don't have any that. fabric. I'm hoping when we go to Stitch Club tomorrow. I have seen that they've had that there okay, before. Okay, good. So. so this is my... And uh, that's Carriage and House. Carriage House Reindeer Feed Sack. And it's on the gingham. Um, I think that's the white. The white and the brown one. Uh, the gingham so this is going to be and it's only one color you guys mm -hmm. or white white, white, and yeah. white and red and I think it called for a 3777 so I think that's brilliant so anyway that'd be so pretty with you know greenery would you do oh, it like oh, in a sack like that I think so I, I, I absolutely think so uh, okay here's your, here's your this is I thought I thought yep I know uh, no this is a petty point oh, okay all right, but this is the one, and I, it's not Crochetta Go Go. Oh. It's uh, looks very oh my similar gosh, style. I know. It's cool. Italian. Cori e <laughs> ba Batacore. Batatore. Anyway, something. These are all oh, these little houses, little gingerbread houses. 
Look at that. And it calls for the, the brown petty point, but I'm going to oh, do it. I think it. that'd be pretty. I'm going to try blue. one and do it on the, because I have so much of this. So, and do it on the blue. And it's also DMC. But what, what's MH? Do you know what MH is? Hmm. Mm -mm. If you guys um, know what. Um, no. No hill. <laughs> oh. But that one, that yeah. one. Does she have beads in it? There's no beads in it. Okay. Um, it's in the, under the legend, and it says MH. But I can't Google it because my phone's filming us. So. Okay. <laughs> but, but anyway, that was the one that I was looking for. Okay. Oh, and then here's, this is my Stacy Nash where I did the snow pattern from, and then she also has a house as part of as part of this pattern. I've always wanted to do that house. And there are so many, if you look, there are so many Christmas patterns featuring a house. You could have like a dough bowl just full of Christmas houses. Mm. This is Heart and Hand, Louis Santa. Is that a 2021. Get with it, Lenny. And we won a very Merry Christmas. Cute. And Primrose Cottage, the nine patch for December. I try to do them. I haven't done all of them, but it's, they're really fun to stitch up and they finish up cute. Yeah. Just depends on how long you want to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, when Mr. When Mr. Sable comes <laughs> home, we definitely got to go. Of course, like everyone, I would love to do Christmas garden. I see that. I saw that on Brenda and Laura's last video hanging in the background. And just, I've always loved that one. That is one that you could have. I'm going to do that one in the off. back one. Yeah. The one I've on done the, that one and I, I haven't need done to redo one. it. I didn't bring it out yet. But yeah, that one, to me, you could almost leave it up all year round. I think you could. I mean, I would. I, I do leave. It doesn't look, doesn't totally scream Christmas to me. Isn't this scary? This is... <laughs> is that like your snowman theme bag? This is like everything. This is like all my Christmas that I pulled out. So, uh, this was my aunt. This, this whole bag is nothing but Annie B's. So, yay, Annie. So, I'll just throw a few out here. Uh, this is Country Christmas 3. Country Christmas 1 and Country Christmas 2. Okay, here's one. Country Christmas 1. Country Christmas 2. And Country Christmas 3. Aren't those cute? And they're all little individual ornaments. Wow. And then, and These, I think, are a lot of, I also have a Brazilian ornament club. Uh, I don't know if they are in the one, two, and three, or, sorry, that was going too fast. I think I saw that one in, but they have the fabric in the back. Oh, so, well, that's nice. Oh, it looks like I may have. Done that one. <laughs> Is all this stitched? Yes. Oh my goodness. So, yeah. so all, the the little, all the plaids stitched. Oh my oh goodness. My so they they look like they'd be a lot <laughs> faster if you didn't have to stitch all that. <laughs> and then I would do that. Yeah, that that would be that would take so, me a long time. I, I have a lot. I have a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> um this is another kit that I have. This was Heartstring Stampery. This was part of the Homespun um, Needlework Facebook group last year. This was an exclusive through him, them, and I think now it is available. Um, you know, it was kitted up by Acorns and Threads, and I got it in the. I think it's. I think that's Wood Smoke. I got it in the wood smoke. You can do it on the that one. dark again? Oh, no, you're doing no, it No, I light. did it on the lighter one. And what I loved about this kit is it came with, you know, oops, it came with the corner gauge, heartstring sample, oh, like and one. acorns and threads. 
And then she also sent some stickers. So when you mm. order these kits, you know, through like Homespun um, Needlework, they do have little special extras they throw in. And this is all my um, little house. <laughs> <laughs> Country cottage. I'll, I'll just also... Well, they do. I mean, they have a lot of... Um, what these, do you call like series? That, these you know. aren't the series. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bring the series. <laughs> okay. uh, I'll just show a few. These were Merry and Bright. Um, Merry Christmas, my dear. Cute. Those are very cute. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Ho, 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 and away we go. Oh, that's cute. There's just something about all these designs where you have Santa. I mean, it's just magical. When you just put, throw Santa on a sleigh in this air, and it's just magical. <laughs> it's just it's just the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> Merry Christmas. That's a, oh, oh, yeah. There was one that said the most wonderful yeah. time of the year. I thought another one. But that's okay. that's my that's my favorite song, Andy oh, Williams. Yes, Winter ABCs. And that's my. Uh, oh, those are cute. My Advent. <laughs> Santa's Village. You got that one pretty much kitted. Well, you got the. the um, these I just love these. Just need the linen you're ready to go on that one. Jingle all the way. Grandma's quilt. Those were part of a series. I didn't get the whole series. I just picked some out that I liked. And that's what I did for the exchange last year. Grandpa's truck. Yeah. Oh, here's a Mr. and Mrs. Oh, I need to cute. do. Something. Snow love. Aww. Oh, I think I did start this one, but this is all I got it was January and February. <laughs> Were you putting them on? Or you mean you just got this in the series? I think, okay. I, I, yeah, I didn't realize it was a series. And it doesn't have to be. But... Cock-a-doodle-doo. And this is My Lady at Christmas. So this Which one was mean? a series, too. Right. That was... I think that was part of that farmhouse series. Mm -hmm. um, this is all dolled up. Um, oh, I love the candy canes. Peppermint twist. That's mm -hmm. really pretty. I really like this one. Um, this one was actually, I think it was a kit and it came with winter, spring, autumn, and I guess there isn't any more seasons in the year because that's all I got. <laughs> so is that a button? Is that's that a button. That's a button. Okay. Yeah. So this is, it's called, what is it called? It's called... Uh, um, Jebco, Just Another Button Company. Well, I was going to say it said something about that this was... Mm -hmm. um, counted cross stitch adorned with pretties. So I was like, oh, that is really, I like that one a lot. With the little lace on the edge. That's really pretty. And so that was oh. just my little house. Okay. Um, these are some, I have actually done these, but then I sold these in craft shows. I've done that's Oh, I saw that one. I he, him, he took a lot more stitching than I anticipated. This was more like a better size for doing craft shows. Oh, Christmas tree. That is Country Rustics. Oh, I want to do him. Christy had this one oh. up in her house, too, from Artful Offerings. So a lot of people, I think a lot of people have done him. But I, that's a oh, lot I'm of stitching. Sure. That it is. Lot of stitching. I mean, I... Oh, and here's my farmhouse, my pickup one. Um, this one was actually, I, I got this as a giveaway, and I just think he's so cute. I might leave him out, and that would be a cute little ornament to do for Clara. Santa Collection oh, number three, and that's by 
My my Fanny? I don't know. But he's so different. My Fanny. My Fanny. Here's my crochetta. I knew I had another one. This is a new one that I got. Was it Babo Natale? Did I say that right? So, but look how cute he is. Santa and the reindeer. Isn't he cute? Mm. Is that guy a little lantern with him? Or it's a little house lantern or something? A little house lantern. It was really creative. I bet no. It's kind of the it's kind of hard to see on that picture, but I bet that is just adorable. A little reindeer in his jacket. Yeah, he's little, got a lot of details he's got on him. A lot of really cute details. And that reindeer. I'll just set that one out. This is another one from the other Italian Cure Beta Sorry. Um this was winter in a quilt, but it's cross stitch. They're just so unique. I'm not yours. This one's very intricate. Yeah, I'm not stealing yours. Okay. Um, oh gosh, just so many wonderful things to do. There are. Oh, this is another one that I want to do. Heart and hand. Magic little Christmas. It's cute. This was another one from Kitten Stitcher's Advent Box last year by oh, Kathy Barrick. I remember seeing that one finished at the retreat. That Gosh, pretty, that was pretty. Christmas. And this too, and I love this one. I haven't seen a lot of people do it. Hello by Liz Matthews. I mean, it's not really Christmas colors. No, but somebody was doing a sell. Um, with that one? With this one. It's called Winter yeah. Garden. You could maybe put a little more. I don't know what I don't have. I haven't pulled the floss. You could maybe make it a little more. I mean, I guess maybe the blue. Maybe make it more red and green. I don't know. This is something just a wishful. <laughs> but look at this beautiful angel. Is that American? And that's a lavender and lace. That's a lavender, lavender lace. lace. Okay. I get those confused. I do too. But the one that I have that I want to do first is uh, Grandmother's Fairy Garden. So that one will be before this one, but I wanted to get it because they had it, and you know how we like to collect things. Okay, um, just a couple more. Felice Navidad is one as another blackbird one. It has really beautiful colors. That'll be another start someday. Of course, this one I have this kitted up and ready to go. Noel. I know several people have have finished that or are working on that and that is you know it looks kind of simple and has you know a lot of like white space I guess in the in the design but I have seen it um, framed and when I first saw it I didn't know it was another mm -hmm. it was a Brenda Gervais pattern and I just loved it so that's another one I'd love to start and then this is an old this is from Punch Needle and Primitive Stitches Stitcher and this is 2018, and um, I have always loved this needle book. I just think that is so pretty, just with the little reindeer motifs and the and the little flap there with the house and the quilt. And that is by Lisbeth Gottschall of Thistles. So beautiful. And again, that's in the 2018. Um, Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher. Which I just got my 2022 this week, and oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I have so many more, but I'm only going to show you this one collection. Um, we'll save it for another time. But I had to show you my Teresa Koga collection. So this one is um, Primitive Santa. Oh, that's pretty. And December Star ornament are these vana i know has a tutorial in my yes. game last year's for doing the star ornament finish which is probably why i haven't stitched them because <laughs> i haven't tried that um star santa jesus is the reason for our beautiful season 
home for Christmas. Pray. Her angels are amazing. Oh, I'm doing one and I couldn't find it, but I'm doing sore and she's gorgeous. Look at this grass. <laughs> Season's greetings. Very cute. And strutting. Love that reindeer. And this one that just happened to get into that is Peppermint Palace by Brenda Gervais. Yeah, and I have the I have the Santa one that is part of that like, series. So it's probably it's probably enough eye candy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could be and we're not tonight. done. That was so exciting. <laughs> and we're not even done. I'm not even halfway through. So anyway. Seeing all those uh, inspiration. Yeah, we need to get stitching, definitely. So definitely. We need to wrap this up so we can go Let's stitch. Go stitch. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us. Um, we thank you. We appreciate um, Do we have a question that we would like to know? Oh. I know we uh, we appreciated reading your your um, answers last year. We Last year. Uh, three weeks ago when we filmed we asked if you had you know when you put your Christmas decorations up I realized not everyone celebrates Christmas so I appreciate it. everyone was very kind but it was just fun to read how you know some people start at Halloween and you know mm -hmm. some of us a lot of people are traditional and don't start until after Thanksgiving so just enjoyed reading that and hearing about everyone's traditions and if you didn't you know if you don't celebrate Christmas um, you know and well, just your family kind. get togethers yeah um, one thing that we started doing in our family on Christmas Day, um, it's a pajama day. We don't do anything on Christmas Day. Uh, we do all our church activities on Christmas Eve, and um, the other kids share their Christmas Eve with their family, husbands, fam excuse me, husbands, families. Um, so our Christmas Day is Jammy Day. And game day and puzzle day oh, and fun. snack. We don't even cook dinner. It's just everybody brings snacks and we just eat junk all day long. <laughs> <laughs> so that's our tradition. So, yeah, if you have a holiday tradition, if you have a Christmas tradition, it doesn't have to be Christmas, whatever you might celebrate. We'd love to hear about what your holiday traditions are or just, you know, a special family tradition at year end or new year's or whatever that would be fun yeah i'd like something that people, somebody else different difference. things that people do so and of course we have to end with a joke <laughs> but i have so many oh you know why you know what you call a kid that doesn't believe in santa claus rebel without a clause <laughs> okay last one. <laughs> oh gosh i have so many good ones okay after Christmas and Santa goes on vacation. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where you know where he goes? <laughs> ho ho hotel. <laughs> That's it. So we will be back in about in two weeks, I think. Yeah, and we should be back on our schedule. Like I said, I'll let you know on the on the on my Instagram and Facebook when the website goes live. And in in the meantime, we hope you have time to stitch something beautiful and. Thank you for spending time with us. What does Santa eat for breakfast? Cheerios. Frosted flakes. Oh. <laughs> All right. That's it. Bye. Bye.